Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch season one, episode 11 of Gilmore Girls. A quick recap of the last episode. I think the last two episodes have been my favorite so far. While I've loved all of the other episodes, I just loved Dean and Rory at the dance and all that unfolded there. I thought that that was great for us to see a progression of their relationship a bit. And that was episode nine. And then in episode 10, we know that I love Luke and Lorelai, and I think that that is a situation that I've gotten myself into that has the opportunity to cause me a lot of harm mentally and emotionally. And, you know, that's a story and a problem for another day. Potentially today. I don't fucking know. And so, yeah. <laughs> that's what's happening. There were a lot of great Luke and Lorelai moments in the last episode because Lorelai and Emily were still, you know, not getting along, butting heads, if you will, regarding what happened with Rory in the episode before, not getting home at an appropriate time, and the spat that they had with each other. Of course, Emily was having a Christmas type of party, and she uninvited Lorelai because Lorelai was like, oh, I might be late, or like, something like that because she had to work and Emily was like okay I'm just not important to you then okay okay and blew up over that which was absolutely lovely might I add and Rory went alone and what happened none other than Richard fell down I don't know if he had a heart attack I don't know what exactly happened but he had to go to the hospital and do tests and it was a very sad situation because Lorelai was thinking back on her memories with her dad and she didn't really have any that stuck out. He always kind of did his thing, she always did her thing, they didn't spend a lot of time together and I do feel like that is quite important to know because I feel like going forward we might see a change in that of her trying to maybe spend more time with him or at least the time that she does spend with him be a little bit more impactful, perhaps? I don't know. I'll be interested to see if there is a shift, though. And Lorelai was at Luke's getting some food when she got the call about this, so she's panicking a bit, but Luke shut down and took her there, so we had so many beautiful moments between Luke and Lorelai. One of my favorite things about Emily is the fact that she just, like, asks them all the time if they're together, if they were dating, and just tells them that they're both stupid, and I love that about her. And there are some things that I said in the last episode that I think Emily needs to work on for me to like really fully love her as a character. Because right now she does a lot that really bothers me. And I'm not saying that like everybody, you know, everybody has their faults. I'm not saying all the other characters are perfect, they aren't, but there are just certain things about Emily and the way she treats others that is very difficult for me personally. So hopefully it just gets better and better. I said in the end of the last episode where Luke and Lorelai were being oh so cute, I just feel like Mr. Medina is going to come back to haunt me and like we didn't just have that date and now he's just gone. Like this is how how many seasons? Six seasons? Eight seasons? I don't know. A lot of seasons with a lot of episodes. This man is not just going nowhere. There's a story to be had here. So I'm very excited to, to get into this episode and see what's in store. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that is down below. And without any further ado, let's just jump right in to Season 1, Episode 11 of Gilmore Girls. Let's go. The refrigerator. Do you want to go back to thumb wrestling? Osteoporosis. Pete. <gasps> Puppies! That's not a disease. <laughs> That's me, though. Puppies. Rory, look at the baby. Mom. Oh, Buttercup was found cold and wet. Children of either sex, other animals, red clothing, cabbage, or anyone in a uniform. Hey, we just found the doggy version of you. <laughs> Skippy was our hamster. He doesn't care. What happened to Skippy? Nothing happened to Skippy. Every time Mom would put her hand in his cage, he'd bite her. Oh, oh this one laughed. Trust me. So finally she got fed up. Of being laughed at by a hamster? 
This hamster, this was like a Damien hamster with little beady eyes and a big forked. Girl, <laughs> girl. Mm. God. 20 minutes ago, we were sitting at the dinner table, were we not? Yes, we were. There were candles and flowers and as soon as that dinner is over and I start cleaning up, suddenly that's when you're starving. What can I say? Watching someone work makes me hungry. From this very old uh, Italian woman who- It's so frustrating to me. Uh, because she, she he's lost nice, her husband a couple right? Years before and she kind of- He just isn't right for us. She was. So an old girlfriend, huh? Yep. <laughs> so, would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Uh. Guys, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Uh. You know, I could just save you the time Laura lie. and uh, put an A on it for you. Well, that really wouldn't be fair to the other students whose mothers aren't here tonight, would it? I'll take that advice into account. Thank God he's got some f morals. Jesus. <laughs> As Marcel Proust would say. But of course I have no idea what Marcel Proust would say, so, you know. You take it. Oh, no. It, it, it looks so valuable. Well, it's a book. It's meant to be read. You sure? Mr. Medina, is this my extra credit work? Because Missy just had to take a test. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Where do you think you're going? a very big smile for a not bad night. Yeah, well. Hey, he loaned me a book. What book? Swan's Way. Aren't we ambitious? Yes, we are. <laughs> hey. What? You look happy. I am, kid. Just checking. Oh, guys, that's cute, but damn it, it should be Luke. Who are we kidding? Who is she kidding? I bet his girlfriend's pretty. I bet she's dumb. Why? Dumb girls crave smart men. It's the oh whole Marilyn God. Monroe are. <clears throat> well, I still think she's lucky. Whoever he's dating is a loser who doesn't care that he's a teacher in this ridiculous school making a ridiculous teacher's salary. What are you looking at? Pe she is such a hateful person. She's getting very ugly. You know what that means. Dad should have just paid her mom what she wanted in this whole. She hates herself, I fear. That's not your I'm happy smile. Well, what smile is it, Lorelai? That's your I've got something on Lorelai smile. Rory, your mother must be very tired. So tell me about Parents' Day. What? Parents' Day. Next Wednesday? When all the parents are supposed to go to the classes with their... Came out today. Yep. Right. You didn't read yours? Not yet. Ah. But you knew that. Well... Hence the smile. Lorelai, you're... <laughs> No evil plan afoot here. I simply <clears throat> brought up a subject. I don't know, girl. Sure, Jan. Because I didn't read the newsletter doesn't mean I don't care about my daughter. So are you going? To what? To Parents' Day. Why don't we talk about it next Friday when I've actually read the newsletter? If you talked about it on Friday, then you would have missed it. Wednesday, huh? It's okay, Mom. You don't have to be there. I guess we could talk about how you missed it, though. I won't. <laughs> Emily! You know what? I'll go. What? Why not? You have to work. I, as you have insinuated, have no life. <laughs> hey, I'm going. I will be there. That's it. End of story. Okay? Fine. Fine. Oh my god. Something horrible is going to happen in Mr. Medina's class. Silver dangly bracelet. I'm wearing it. Why are you wearing it? Because it's mine. No. <laughs> Where are your silver dangly bracelet? I'll leave it on the table for you. Thank you. Huh? The doorbell rang. Why did the doorbell ring? Because someone's at the door? It's 8 o'clock. Who shows up at 8 o'clock for an 8 o'clock date? Mom, what do I do? I'm not even supposed to be here. Okay, so go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You have to get the door. What? Yeah, because I'm not ready. I'm hanging out there and it's cold and my slip is now completely stuck in my skirt zipper and they'll have to bury me like this. Mom. Just this once. Mm, mm-hmm. Can I get you something? I mean, we don't really have anything, but if you wanted something, we had it. In <laughs> we don't have anything. It's not a funny color or anything. I'm good, really. We have bottled water. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is a little uncomfortable. Yes, it is. But the thing is, <laughs> if things go well the way I, I hope they're going, and we might be doing this again. 
sitting uncomfortably. <laughs> it's good to talk to you, Rory. You too, Mr. Medina. Why don't you call me Max, just when we're out of school? I don't think I can do that. And if I start thinking of you as a Max, even as a part-time Max, it just seems like it'll get too confusing. Norman? Norman? Well? I look like a Norman to you. <laughs> Psycho was on earlier, and it was just the first name that came to mind. Uh, positive, I love it. I might make a legal change. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. Yes, I know. People come from all over and demand the fried stuffed squash blossom. Are they gonna date? Because I feel like they should. Anything that comes with the stuffed fried squash blossoms. That they just have a very good banter between them. Fine. You wanna think small? Think small. I'm done. <laughs> when was the last time you put those things on? <laughs> <laughs> Anymore? Yes, they fit. They look rusted. <sighs> Hand them over. Why? I'm gonna clean them and tighten the blades. Really? Yes. C husband material? Are we fucking joking? I'm sorry. Am I insane? What if we invite Max to go skating with us? M Max? Yeah, I thought maybe he'd want to go. You don't see him that much outside school. No, but I probably will since you guys are obsessed with each other. Oh, well, I would. Okay. I mean, of all the guys to have hanging around, he seems like a good choice. I like him. Good. Well, that's good. Well, maybe we could all do something else together then. Yeah, good. Something else is good. I love something else. <laughs> yeah, it's getting real, girl. It's getting real. And it's not Luke, so it's a bad choice. That didn't sound very convincing. No, he is. He is a great guy for someone. Oh, <gasps> yes. 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 Someone else who's not you, although you're the person spending every waking hour with them. Right. Mm. You're just right on schedule, that's all. I <gasps> have no idea what you're talking about. This is about time you start doing a little getaway dance. Rory is starting to get attached to Max, and that's not good. Oh, Rory's getting attached to Max? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. For me, I think it's better that we break it off before she gets hurt. Practical. What I always do, this is not the same. Actually, you're right. Usually you don't get so upset and defensive during the cha-cha talk. When did you become a relationship expert? You haven't Damn. been in a relationship in years. Jackass in 3.2 seconds. That's all right. Your feet hurt. No, it isn't. I, it is never, ever okay for me to talk to you like that. I'm saying some more <laughs> Ricky Martin to me? No. You, you can, you yeah. know. I like that she immediately was like, whoa, I overstepped. If your mom is coming to Parents' Day. Oh, well. Chris, I'm, I'm just trying to get an accurate number of parents who are coming, you know, for the cookie count. Is it good? <laughs> She's coming. I hadn't heard from her in a while about it. I... She'll be here. Okay, good. Okay, good. I will. What is his deal? Somebody definitely heard that, I think. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I thought it was gonna like pan to somebody being like, if she was mm. anybody else in the entire universe, I might feel bad for her. Actually, I kind of do feel bad for her. That's because mm -hmm. you are the nicest kid ever to walk the earth. <laughs> Best friends, they said hello to me the other day. Really? Like a normal hello, not like a here's Johnny kind of hello? <laughs> so how's Swan's way coming? Oh, finished. You're kidding. It took me forever to read that. I had to renew it ten times. The first sentence. I finished the first sentence. <laughs> just bring it with you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Parents' day. I know. I just, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. What do you mean? That's not good. And, and I thought I could get away, but now I can't. What thing? The thing. The in thing. What in thing? <laughs> you know. No, I don't. I like how they do ask questions and push. So they get answers. Because I'm not sure when that will be, and he should have his book. You see him all the time. Roy, could you just give it back to him, okay? And the book back. How do you know he hasn't heard from me? He wanted to know if you were going to Parents' Day. I just hadn't talked lately. He shouldn't be asking you about me. Why are you breaking up with him? Because it's not working out. Okay. Just leave me out of it, and give him the book back yourself. Yeah, damn straight. Hey, not so fast. The bell's gonna ring. Oh, she did show up. Tell me you still like me. You bug me. I'll take that as a yes. 
At least come to my lit class. Oh, this place is giving me a headache. Mom, is your face breaking out? No. You have not been using that cleanser, have you? No. Well, now we know why Paris is like Paris is. But I'm looking pretty good to you right now. Yes, you are. Hmm. And the novelist Edna O'Brien has been quoted as saying that every writer should read some Proust every day. And I, ooh. <laughs> I would impress the parents by pulling out a copy of Proust's Swan's Way no. and reading a particularly difficult passage. But alas, you're all saved. I've misplaced my copy. Uh, that does An even bigger, ooh! <laughs> What's going on, Lorelei? Nothing. Uh, I just don't think a book whose first sentence is 20 pages long is for me. Well, I left four messages. Here. Why do you keep on trying to give me the book? Because it's yours. Is there something going on here that I don't know about? Yeah. Uh, I hate Proust. I cannot believe what an idiot I am. What? You're breaking up with me, aren't you? I don't know. Not only are you breaking up with me, you're doing it really badly. I... You. Nobody's dumping anybody. Really? Then what is this? I just need oh, space. Oh, it's so uncomfy. I want as little space as possible. A hundred clowns crammed into a Volkswagen. That's the kind of non-space I'm talking about. Oh, my God. <sighs> things out and it all came clear when I realized how much we could hurt Rory. Don't you mean how much we could hurt Lorelai? Hey, I can take care of myself. Well, maybe she can and maybe she can't. I'm not ready to find out. Well, I'm not going to let you off that easily. Oh my God. You've missed me. Stop it. I know you did. You're missing me right now, aren't you? Answer me. Look, class is over. Well, I, we're back in session. Please take it. I swear to God, if you try to give me that book one more time. Just put it on a desk. Uh. Oh, are we joking? Uh, out of all of the people to see this happen, it's her. Out of all of them. Paris, don't be a little bitch. Don't do it. You're gonna, and like, that really pisses me off to try to take some of the heat off you. Yep, immediate, immediate. And now it has hurt, hurt Rory. It, it's really spreading like that. Who gives a flying fuck? Ew, ew, what the hell? Um, everyone's just talking about the mom that Mr. Medina was seen kissing just now. What? And the weird thing is, she looks a lot like your mom. How's the coast law? Good? She's such a bitch, guys. She really is. Fuck her. Fuck her. Did you save me some jello? What? Oh, God. Were you kissing him? What? Mr. Medina, just now, were you kissing him? Yes. Harris saw you. It's all over the school. Oh, God. Oh, Rory, I'm so sorry. I really am. Mm-hmm. I knew this was gonna happen. Why? I didn't want to date him. You didn't want to date him so you wouldn't come to my school and kiss him and humiliate me? Yes, that's exactly it. Oh, hey, my crazy, stupid rules are the reason we are doing so good in our lives. They're, they're the reason you grew up the way you did and the reason you're even in this school and the reason... Great. Well, maybe it's time for the rules to change. Okay, fine with me. The last thing I need tonight is a confrontation with my mother. You're gonna get one. I, I smell it and I feel it in the air. <gasps> Boy, the roads were a mess out there tonight. She knows already. Rory, go upstairs, please. Is everything okay? I have to talk to your mother. Please go upstairs. No fucking way she knows. Are we kidding? Laurel, I come here. <laughs> this is crazy. Do you have no shame? Is that intended as a rhetorical question, or...? Rory goes to school in that place. She has a reputation to protect. You're her mother. On Parents' Day? Well, they wanted us to get more involved with the school. Are you insane? <laughs> Lorelai, that's crazy. That's a crazy statement. How did you hear, Mom? I have friends, Lorelai. Headmaster Charleston's wife, for one. Oh, that's... The headmaster knows! No way. Mistake is when the gardeners miss trash day and the barrels are full for a week. This, my girl, was not a mistake. Oh! This man? Uh, no, this is the first time I'd seen him, and I don't know, there was just something about the way he... I knew him. 
I've been dating him. Why on earth would you date Rory's teacher? That is none of your business. It most certainly is. How do you figure that? When it affects my granddaughter, it becomes my... Girl, settle down. How on earth did you justify it to yourself? Max is a great guy. He's sweet. Mm. He cooks. So you decided to kiss him in your daughter's school? Oh, fuck off. Break up with him in my daughter's school, and the kissing part just happened. You always let your emotions get in the way. That's the problem with you, Lorelai. No empathy on this bitch. He's just a man, Lorelai. No, he's not. Oh, so what are you telling me? That this was all worth it because he was the love of your life, that this was the man for you? She's so mean. I don't know. He might have been. Like, you can have that conversation without acting like that. I wish my mom would sleep with my teacher. It would make midterms a lot easier. Fuck her up. Matt, you're not going to kiss me, are you? What is wrong with you? Nothing. Do it, I would. I'm great. <laughs> if she said that to me, ma'am, be like, maybe. Keep you on your toes. Do you have any idea how many people you've hurt? Forget me and my mom. What about Mr. Medina? He likes you, he encourages you, he holds up your papers and tells the class how great you are. Mm-hmm. I do like Mr. Medina. Well, I'd take some dance classes because the way you express yourself needs a little work. <laughs> shouldn't have told people what I saw. Probably? No, you shouldn't have. Probably? You should be sorry. Well, not good lately. I know. I just didn't want them talking about me anymore. That's all. Well, it worked. This is the thing, though. It's like... You know, if, if you ever want to talk... Hey, we are not friends. Yeah, well, I mean, I she's know. a bitch. Okay. But I probably won't. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I... You. I'm around. Okay. I'm going now. Bye. Bye. Like, Rory is so nice for no reason. Like, there is no way I would be that nice to this bitch. Like... I, I just wouldn't, like, talk to her. Like, if you're gonna treat me like that, you don't deserve my energy. At all. I'm not a mean person, but I will block you out. Like, with no problems. Jackson? What? Would you like to go to dinner sometime? <gasps> with me? Oh! Okay. Yes! Yes, Suki! Get your man, Suki! Get him! Oh. I'm shook. I can't believe that happened. Why don't we invite Max to come along with us? And that was a little weird for me. Me too. I don't skate. <laughs> my next thought was, oh my god, what if we break up? I'll be crushed. And then, as you know, all hell broke loose. Ask Skippy. Skippy? You know who would have gotten that? Luke. <laughs> Mr. Charleston's office today. Well, let me guess. He put his arm around you and said... Did he get fired? He said I was jeopardizing my career and my future at Chilton. Oh. And at first I was incensed, outraged. I mean, how dare he? And then I realized... Is he breaking up with her? <gasps> what happened the other day was completely unprofessional. He should have fired me. But he didn't. Not yet. The word probation was tossed around quite a bit, though. Is he breaking up? I, I do not know what to do here. I... Girl, he's breaking up with you. Oh. Maybe we need to take a little time away from each other. <laughs> no way! No way! Just to figure out <laughs> how to do this so it's not so hard. Sure. I'm losing my mind. I really, really like you, Lorelai Gilmore. Oh my God! If we have enough space. Sounds that straightened out. You know, it could slip in there. Goodbye, Lorelai. This is crazy. That, that is, my, oh my god. And she just opened up to him, and he ended up being like, let's take a break. Wild. Wild. That's why I don't date. That's terrifying. She's crying. Mm. Well, folks. <laughs> Yikes. That's sad. She liked him. He was nice. This is what I said. Like, he, he was perfectly fine. 
He just wasn't Luke. He just wasn't Luke, and that's that on that. <laughs> that's how I feel about that. Oh, what an episode. Everything that I feared would happen kind of happened, and maybe even in like a worse way than I thought it was going to happen. I didn't ever think that it was going to spread around the school like that, like wildfire, and be that huge of a deal. I should have, I guess, thought that that was going to be how that went, but I just didn't. And I don't know. Paris is a kid, right? So, like, I am, like, angry about her and everything. And I do know she's going through a hard times, so she's going to take that out on others. And that's not okay, but I do understand why she's doing it. So, I just know that, like, I'll get comments being like, you're too hard on her. Or I feel like I will anyway. And it's like, I do understand why she's doing it. But the way that she goes in on Rory so hard really bothers me and I do like I said I understand why I understand why she's trying to take the attention off of her because she's going through a hard time that's making her feel down about herself but even at the end there where Rory's like you can talk to me to double in and be like I won't and like be really shitty and stuff and then but you actually want to is like just turn it around a little like it's not crazy nobody's gonna give a crap if you talk to her like nobody's gonna start like making fun of you it's not like Rory is a loser who is just bullied all the time you're the only one bullying her no one else is so if you turn around and just stop bullying her who's gonna give a shit other than your two little like wannabes behind you and they're nice to her at least the one is so it's not a big deal if you are just be nice be nice and it'll be a happier place and it'll be better and you maybe might have a cool friend. How about that? But that's what I mean is like, I'm the type of person if somebody is treating me that way, I just don't engage. And I am not like mean and like one-upping or anything like that. It's just you don't deserve my attention. You don't deserve the, the breath it takes for me to speak to you. And it's fine. I'll just ignore you. But Rory is trying time and time again to, like, be kind. And that's incredible. Go her. The fact that Lorelai kissed him there was not good. But I also don't like the way that Emily handled it. Like, Emily does nothing but, like, yell at Lorelai and, like, scold her. And it's like, you can do that. But then when she's crying and obviously upset... There was no empathy there at all. It was just like, you fucked up, you fucked up, you fucked up. And she didn't care about how Lorelai was feeling at all at that moment. And that's what I mean by like, there's just no empathy there. And I, that scares me for the future. Wild. I cannot believe that after Lorelai spoke how she truly felt to Max, he then was like, we need a break. <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. And Suki is going on a date, baby, with Jackson. I'm very excited about that. I've been feeling like their vibes just work and they bounce off each other so well, so I'm very happy about that. Oh my God, I don't know what is gonna happen here with Lorelai, Max, whatever. I don't know that we'll see him again. I don't know if that was like a definite call off or if they'll like come back and work together. I don't know, like work on it, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below. And I'll see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.